hey guys so welcome back to my channel and it's a girl Oleki. today we are going to make soya milk this is very simple to make guys so let's get started for this recipe we'll be needing our soya beans so you rinse the soya beans and soak them in water overnight or for at least eight hours make sure the soya beans are completely submerged in water after soaking put it inside a bowl we will then remove the excess chaff from the soya beans. We are going to use the rubbing method to separate the chaff from the soya beans. So this is the end result guys. Transfer it inside a bowl and add enough water. Some will decide to blend it raw without removing the excess chaff. But the disadvantage is that it can spoil easily. So I advise you to remove the excess chaff before blending. We are going to blend our soya beans. Actually, I divided it into two. So I will blend the first one and transfer it inside a bowl before the second one also follows. All right, so we are done with the blending. The next process is we are going to see our soya milk so that we can remove the excess chaff from it. So this is the result we got from sieving our soya milk. Look at how plenty it is. So the second process is, we are going to place a cheesecloth or any nut milk bag over a large bowl and then pour the mixture through it. Squeeze the cheesecloth or nut milk bag to extract as much liquid as possible. Cause there are still some chaff to be taken out. All right, we are almost done with that process. So it's time for us to prepare our soya milk. We are going to put our soya milk inside a saucepan. Now we are going to heat the mixture over medium high heat, stirring occasionally to prevent it from sticking to the bottom of the pot. This is the most important part of all. Remove all sticky substances inside the soya milk. Now it's time for us to put in our date. What we are going to do is we are going to remove all the seed inside the date we will then transfer it inside a bowl, then add a little water, wash it and then transfer it inside your blender. Add some amount of water and blend your date all together. After blending, pour it inside your soya milk. After 3 minutes, bring the mixture to a boil. Then reduce the heat to low and simmer for 50 to 20 minutes. Alright, we will then transfer our soya milk inside our bowl after we have allowed it to simmer. Then we are going to sieve it once again in order to remove the excess chaff or the remaining chaff from it. Add in your vanilla essence and then give it a stir. Your soya milk is ready and you can store it in your refrigerator. Lest I forget, the blending of the soya milk, the amount of water you put it will determine how thicker your soya milk will be. So serve it while it is cold or you can add it to your diet or put it in your gari, anything at all. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you enjoy it. And thank you so much for liking and sharing my video. See you next time. Bye.